So in this way, we are almost unlocking another side to concrete. Like we don't have to think of this as cheating. It can be taking the next step in concrete facades. So take tilt wall buildings, for example. They're an extremely efficient method of construction. They're super fast, pretty well insulated, and they're a really good invention. I always remember uh, I used to drive to work the same road, and there were it was in this um, like factory part of town where they were building all these tilt wall buildings. And like one week I'd just be driving and be like, oh, they're building something. And then by the end of the week, boom, the building's enclosed. It's completely done. Those things go up so fast. Because it's just a structural outer frame with these massive trusses. They don't have any real interior supports. It's just an open, flexible space that you can do anything you can create any sort of interior space and whether it's office buildings with cubicles, whether it's an Amazon facility or some other fulfillment center. It's just so versatile. Yeah, it's like uh, Le Corbusier's um, open floor plan yeah. using the piloti columns. But the problem with those buildings is it's quite bland. It, they have these fake windows on the outside. They create certain grooves and all to create some variation on the outer surface, but they are quite boring. So if we come up with something like this, like with polyurethane forms and stains, and we can create some interesting facades that blend in with the residential buildings around them. And change the scale, because every time you think of tilt wall, you think of these massive warehouses. And I think of tilt wall, that method of construction being so cheap and efficient that it would be great to have that as a residential application. But people don't want that type of building. They don't want a box with a flat roof as their house. As much as you see on the internet of people liking all these modern designs and stuff, traditional homes are what wins. That's what people actually want. So if we could scale that technology down, but make it look like traditional construction. It's a win-win.